Tonight! Tonight! We're going to! We're going to! Start a fight! Start a fight! To take back! To take back! Our democracy! Our democracy! Thank you, Mr. President. I'd just like to commend my colleague, Senator Miller, on this a very important issue. Uh, we're moving, unfortunately, ever increasingly in a direction of instead of having elections, they're becoming auctions. And I think we need to address this very serious situation. And I thank all those who came up and, and demonstrated. It does make a difference, and I encourage you to stay involved. And I, too, join uh, Senator Miller and all our colleagues, but especially to the advocates that have been here uh, day in and day out. The Wolf Pack is a, is a movement that uh, is going throughout the country, and I congratulate them for their efforts and in getting involved, especially many of you who, for the first time, uh, showed up, and now you're seeing how you're making a difference. So stay involved, and I hope uh, everything goes well. So what we've done with Wolf Pack all across the country is given people the tools to have access to their legislatures, many of these people for the very first time. So I just met up with uh, Jazz Lewis, Delegate Jazz Lewis, and uh, he was a classmate of my sister at College Park. Uh, he co he's a co-sponsor of our bill, so uh, it was cool to see him. I never met him before today, but I recognized his face from Facebook. So I just went up to him, shook his hand, started to talk to him, and he gave me his card to get in contact with him. I'm glad that I'm actually showing that I care, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, I'm not just reposting that I care. I'm not just telling my friends, hey, this is something I am in favor of. I am out here. <laughs> Proving it. This resolution, I believe, is actually just pushing us forward into the opportunity to continue to voice our opinions as Americans when our own government is, is faulty. Our committee asks you to join us in taking this bold step. And yes, I do think this country listens to Vermont, little Vermont. I was here when we passed civil unions the proudest moment of my life in this, in this body. And look now, civil unions, huh? That's passe. Vermont does lead, and they do listen to us. Obviously, the Supreme Court hasn't moved, Congress hasn't moved. This is a great way to put pressure, and this is a great way for Maryland to step up and put pressure to get Absolutely, you know, get the money out of politics and restore some sort of uh, clarity and integrity to our electoral system. So. It, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat. You know, the citizens of this country get it, and they're completely fed up with the corruption happening in D.C. My name is Alex Paxton, and this is... Christina Coulter. Yeah, we both Hi. live in North Laurel in Howard County. Pendergrass is a delegate of ours. H.J. 6 is important to us. Okay. We think that dark money in politics is having a corrosive influence and we'd like we'd, we'd like her to support it. Just on there. That was great, man. I just kind of threw you in the fire there, but it's always better coming from a constituent, a single contact from a constituent. Um, you know, she's going to get that put in front of her, that this bill and that people showed up from her district uh, and they support it. So we're not high-priced lobbyists were individual people just showing people how much their voice matters. Research scientist, software developer, senior in high school, business owner and a mom, graphic designer, student at the University of New Mexico, naturopathic physician, a farmer, a volunteer at Wolfpack. There was a reason why the ability to call an Article 5 convention was put into the Constitution so that the people can be a check against Congress. Congress is doing what they want for their donors. They are not concerned with what their constituents want. We have made our presence known again. And it, every year that we are there, it becomes stronger. Thousands of people out there who just are like giving up because they don't think anything's gonna happen, but they actually have to get up and fight for what they think is right. We will not give up until we have a 28th Amendment. One of the guys that worked with us from the very beginning, his name is Charlie Cooper. Uh, he's inspiring to me because he's a retired guy. Uh, he's supposed to be spending his time going to Florida or stuff like that. Delegate O'Donnell, how are you? Right. Looking forward to sitting down and talking to you. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Hi. Charlie, how are you doing? Congrats. But instead, he works 40 hours a week plus working on this resolution. His energy for his age is, is extremely inspiring. And, you know, I always think if, if he can do that, if he can come down here, I can find the time as well. People don't know the power they have until they use it. Because there is no feeling greater to know that not only has your voice been heard, but it's actually effective.